Also over there, near where Catherine is, is Elise Campaign, who is uh, running for Mount Pleasant Water Commission or Water Council. And you ought to support her. She has a long history in progressive politics and work. Y'all ever hear about the Center for American Progress? It's the people who stand up for us in Washington. She used to work for them as one of their vice presidents. But we're fortunate to have her here in Charleston County. Now, I want to list five names for you and then have a question. They're congressmen. They're from South Carolina. Jeff Duncan. Trey Gowdy, Ooh. Mick Mulvaney, Ooh. Tom Rice. Ooh. We already did Joe Wilson. Ooh. These are guys that voted to continue the government shutdown. Should we thank these four congressmen? No! Oh, well, yeah, I didn't even get the question out. So we don't thank them for the shutdown, huh? No! Okay, you're right. Well, Vic Rawl is a member of County Council, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about the job he's doing. I imagine as a former judge, he's going to tell us exactly what statute they violated when they were uh, shutting down the government. So, Judge, come on up, tell everybody hey and welcome, and thank you for coming. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank all of you for being here. Uh, the four individuals, and I'll call them individuals as opposed to congressmen because they don't deserve the title. Uh, one of them's a crook, quite frankly. Mulvaney, uh, if you want to get down to brass tacks, Mulvaney cost Lancaster County about $16 million in defaulting on a housing deal. But that, of course, didn't hit the paper when he was running against uh, our favorite congressman from York and that area, Rock Hill. The other three I don't know very well. One of them I think was a prosecutor or a solicitor. Um, I don't know, I think that probably if you were a solicitor you ought to know a little bit about law and obviously he doesn't. What to me is the most interesting thing about the shutdown is the oxymoronic position they took. We're going to shut down the government because Obama will not deal with us on killing Medicare, Medicaid, and Obamacare. It cost us $24.5 billion for the 16 days they managed to shut down the government. If that's not oxymoronic, nothing is. The Tea Party apparently believes that anything they do for their brethren is fine. I'd love to see a Tea Party member be placed in the Love Canal with their Medicaid, Medicare shut off, and their Social Security shut off, and their 401k crashed like everybody else's 401k as a result of Bush's policy. But of course they'll never admit even then that they are not right in saying no to everything. Let me explain something to you very succinctly. You elect Democrats for one reason and one reason only. Democrats govern. They govern by making a determination of what problems there are, looking at those problems and determining the best solutions from the best areas that might provide those solutions, and following through. If you will note, we have never yet had a Republican proposal for Obamacare. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. All they want to do is kill it. Let me give you a very interesting statistic. Do you realize that 52.5 percent of all medical care in this country is paid for by some form of government right now? 52.5. That means that 47.5, I guess, is covered by some form of insurance or not covered at all. So what we're fighting over is not a revamping of the entire health care system. We're simply fighting over why we didn't do a single payer system in the first place. That's right. That's right. And those of you that have watched this thing matriculate through its present gyrations will realize, recognize, and understand that when you look at the numbers, when they say 51% in favor and 49's against, or 43's in favor and 57's against, 
Do you know that half the ones that are against it are against it because it's not a single payer system? Yes. At least half. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we do a lot on county council. I can tell you that it's very interesting for me to have worn as many hats as I've worn over all the years that I've been alive and realize that there are nine people on county council. It's a mixed bag. And most of the time, we get something done. Whether we agree or not is not necessarily the case, but most of the time we get something done. That's unusual. I'd love to see Columbia get something done. I'd love to see Washington get something done. But we tend to get something done. Thanks to you, we get something done. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll leave you with one comment. The difference between Democrats and Republicans is intimately and very clear. Republicans believe in greed and spin. Democrats believe in common sense and integrity. Thank you very much.